There are a few human beings who are searching for something, and they are searching in a way which leaves no stone unturned. They will look underneath every bush. They will uproot every tree. They will climb over the peak of every mountain. They will swim to the depths of the South China Sea. They will look between the creases of the clouds. They will separate each strand of the oak. They will empty shallow puddles. They will look into the space between raindrops. Whatever they must do, whatever it takes. Life will have been a complete failure if they do not find it. Yes, a complete failure. No excuses. No, I tried. No, it wasn't meant to be. No, nothing. There are some things in their life for which they will allow themselves to be bailed out by these silly excuses. But for this one thing, they will allow no excuses at all. This is their sincere quest. They must, must, must find it. I will state candidly that such a quest makes life worth living. Why? Because it is a search for truth. Precisely which truth one is searching for is irrelevant. When a man is on a search for truth, his journey becomes sincere. When a man is on a search for truth, his journey becomes uncompromising. He stands alone, and it is his sincerity that allows him to stand alone. Everything has a truth, but rare is the thing that has a truth seeker. I suppose it could be said that a person who is on a sincere quest is in love with truth. He is in love with cracking the code. He sits in the middle of a thousand puzzle pieces, and he says, there has to be a way. He hears everyone around him say, well, that's just the way it is. And he thinks to himself, that's just not good enough. I've got to figure it out. He goes on his uncompromising journey. And when he finds something, he writes it in his notebook. He then questions whether this was a one-time occurrence or whether it is consistent. So he tests it. And then he watches. He tests it again. And he watches. What does he watch? This is the point at which one's sincerity is truly tested. For the thing that he must watch will not sit well with the scientists. And the most significant and transformative truths in a man's life are verified not by his brain. They are verified by his heart. What must he watch? He must watch how he feels. You can fool your brain. You can fool your mind. But you cannot fool your heart for it was made with a slightly different substance. The heart was made in a different room, apart from all the organs. It is foolproof. It will tell you precisely, and it will tell you immediately, and the sincere seeker will monitor it, and he will use it as his North Star. You see, the heart is uncompromising, and the sincere seeker is uncompromising as well, and this union is mandatory for any sincere quest. When you find yourself feeling a different way, without trying to feel it, you will be on the journey to truth. When you find that feelings that you have always had no longer come to you without you trying to keep them at bay, you will be on the journey to truth. There are not many people like this in the world, my friend, and this is why the world is filled with so much noise, for falsehoods are always noisy, while truth is a silent satisfaction that needs not the companionship of words. Whatever you are seeking, if you are seeking it, sincerely, has a truth. Can the code to your journey be cracked? If I have to convince you that it can, then you are not a truth seeker. The one who seeks truth will not rest until he does. He will refuse to die until he does. Whether it can or can't is of no consequence. He simply has no choice but to crack it. If you ask him to stop, he will look at you with soft and innocent eyes and say, my dear friend, I thank you for your compassion. But you see, I am a woefully desperate man. It is not in my hands to stop my quest. For if I do, I will live the whole of my life hollow and defeated. There is simply no choice in the matter. There is no turning back. The earth is wide, my friend. The oceans are deep and the sky is vast. We have but a handful of years left in our lives. 
and we must be prepared to cover every inch of soil, sea, and sky. And when the universe sees the look of sincerity in our eyes, it will surrender to us all of its truths, for it will realize that it, too, has no choice.